Hi everyone, it's been a little while. Uh, it's relatively cold here where I live, 40s and 50s, um, which is cold for us. And I'm out in my garage slash YouTube studio. Um, this isn't a high budget operation, so I don't have heat out here. Uh, so I'm wearing a sweater, but we're gonna power through it. So if you've seen my videos in the past, you know I recommend that people have some sort of backup power. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world today. I mean. Um, California's having all the issues with the storms and the floods. There's winter storms coming through, ripping through the central U.S. and the eastern coast now. Uh, so there's power outages all over the place. People are knocking out power substations. I mean, it, it's crazy. So um, I highly recommend that you have some sort of backup power. Now, if you can't afford or you can't store and use um, fossil fueled generators you know due to being in an apartment or uh, not having the storage space to, to to store gasoline and that type of thing along with the portable generator uh, i recommend uh, portable power stations uh, you know these are my preferred choice for people in those situations where you want a little bit of power to get you through tough times so if and when you do decide to get either a fossil fuel generator or a power station and you actually use it, which I highly recommend, if you buy something, you should actually practice with it and know what it's capable of. So when you do have an emergency, you'll be ready. Um, but what you might find is that the capacity isn't as much as you thought. You have to kind of know the limitations of your equipment. So what I've been doing lately is I've been practicing using a portable power station and some small, low wattage, you know, under 300 watt cooking appliances. And today I'm going to do a review and uh, actually show you how to use this My Mini Noodle Cooker and Skillet. So you might be thinking, why are you cooking these small one to two serving uh, appliances, right? And I'll tell you, if you're in bad circumstances, especially when it's cold, a hot meal is such a big, big morale booster. It'll kind of put you back on track when you're feeling down. Uh, feeling a little sorry for yourself and I'll give you two instances where um, I could have used this and it would have helped me a lot. So I just got out of the Air Force, I was going back to college and I lived in a town in New York and I knew we had a blizzard coming. I was living on my own in a cheap little apartment and I knew we had three to four feet coming. So I had peanut butter, I had bread, I made sure I had those items. Um, you know, I had uh, granola bars and stuff like that. Um, and I had the foresight to order a huge sheet pizza that I figured I could last three or four days on uh, if, if need be, right? Um, power went out, it got freezing cold. I ate all that stuff cold, I was freezing, I didn't have any entertainment. You know, I'm old, this was, uh, you know, 25 years ago to give you some context. Um, and had I had this with me, it would have made such a huge difference in my mindset when I was there. And my second example was a camping trip. It was spring, upstate New York. Uh, I took my girlfriend on a primitive camping trip. You know, no electric hookup, no water, just a flat spot on the ground. We had a six person tent. Um, we had a cooler full of Italian sausage, bacon, eggs, ground beef, um, stew meat, uh, you know, vegetables to make stew, etc. Um, and uh, the meteorologist forecasted 40 degree nights, 55 to 60 degree days, perfect camping weather, hiking around the falls, etc. Uh, would have been a great trip. However, the weather people suck up there and it was cold, windy, rainy for three straight days. Couldn't keep a fire going, so we couldn't cook any of our meals, you know, any of our meat. Um, so we had to survive on, you know, chips, um, graham crackers, marshmallows to make s'mores, you know, uh, chocolate bars, granola bars, uh, peanut butter sandwiches, um, you know, uh, and a hot meal under those circumstances would have gone a long way. You know, we come back from a hike, take off your wet clothes, uh, would have been nice to sit down and have a nice meal of cornbread or something. Um, now I'm not bagging that trip completely because... Uh, it was cold, rainy, there wasn't a whole lot to do, so 
when we did get back to the tent, you know, we went old school and swapped body heat. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't all bad, but this would have been nice to have. So I did a video a few months ago of the mini grill where I cooked a burger. Um, that was kind of cool. Um, it's small, just like this. So like I said, this is my mini noodle cooker and skillet. Um, it says it uses 260 watts. It's got a small cooking surface here. It's shallow. It's about three quarters of an inch deep. And then you can also put this in, and this is a little bit larger capacity. It's probably about an inch and a quarter deep. And it's got a nice little cover to put on it. Very simple. You just plug it in, let it work. It comes with a user manual. And um, like I said, we're gonna use the Fremo X700. Uh, I charged up to 100%, so we're gonna run it, make a few meals. Uh, I'm gonna make a little ramen. I'm gonna make a little cornbread and possibly make a little spaghetti. Um, these are kind of staples that you can have sitting around uh, in your house for an emergency, long lasting. Um, and, uh, you know, good for a nice little meal. So let's go ahead and try to cook some stuff and see how this thing performs. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some ramen. So I have my mini noodle maker. I have the pan here. I have the ramen, I have some water, put it on a paper towel because I'm going to cram everything in here. So how I'm going to do this is how I'm going to actually probably do it during an emergency. Normally you would make the water boil, you put two cups in a pan, let the water boil and then put this in and let it soften up the noodles. Um, but uh, that's not how I would actually do it in an emergency, I know, and that's not how I've done it sometimes in the past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, cram the noodles in here. Yeah, yeah. Got that. Let's pour water in. This is one cup. You're supposed to make it with two, but I'm not sure how much this is going to hold. I don't think this is going to quite hold two cups. Mm, it's about one and two thirds. Now, turn on our power station. And... As you can see, it's charged to 100%. Now let's fire this thing up, get it cooking. Let's turn our AC on. It's already drawn some current. Fan kicked on. Let's just know that it's working. Set it in very carefully. And we're going to put our lid on. Let's see how long it takes to make some al dente ramen. Okay, it's only been a minute, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw this. You can see that is the output over here, and it's drawing about 204 watts to 206 watts. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes. I think we're about done. This thing is pretty quick. Take the top off, you can see the steam coming off of it. Just gotta be careful. Ooh. Give it a good stir. The ramen looks good and tasty. Took uh, 10, 12 minutes. Wasn't very messy. I'm gonna go in and actually wash this before I make my cornbread, but I wanted to let you see that it took 9% of the capacity of this power station. Okay, so we made our ramen. Like I said, it took about 10 to 12 minutes. It used about 60 watts. So you can make about 10 bowls of ramen. Let's go ahead and give it a taste and see how we're doing here. ramen it was good it takes me back to the time when i had no money and i was eating this all the time anyways uh now we'll go on to the cornbread okay so our ramen was a success it took about 10 to 12 minutes about 10 percent of the capacity of the fremo x700 so we did well on that uh being that's the case i'm not going to do spaghetti um what i would do is i would use thin spaghetti noodles so they cook quicker 
and I would do the same thing. Um, I would make it the same exact way, and then I would just pour a little spaghetti sauce in to warm it up, and we'd be good. So instead of that, I'm going to do the country cornbread. Now these are nice packets because they'll stay shelf stable for about two years, uh, according to the Best Buy date on here. Um, and it only takes water. You just have to mix water with it. So you can put this in your closet, in your pantry or whatever, uh, and it'll be there during an emergency. I've already mixed up the batter in here. Now I'm going to do, like it says this time, uh, last time, I just plugged it in and let it go. Uh, the instructions say you're supposed to actually plug it in, wait for the light to go out, because then it'll be ready to cook. So, <coughs> excuse me, while I was doing that, Hopefully the light's on. Yeah, the light's on. Okay, we're good. So while that's getting ready to cook, I'm just using some Pam because the instructions say to use Pam. So spray a little bit of that in there. We're going to put our batter in here. Now I'm only going to do it about three quarters of the way up the pan. Now we'll wait for our light to go off. And as soon as the light goes off, we'll go ahead and put our skillet portion on top of there. Okay, so our light just went off which means it should be ready to start cooking. Let's go ahead, put our skillet in with our cornbread mix. I don't know if we should cover it or not. <laughs> I'm not much of a cook, but let's see. I think I'm gonna go uncovered. So the top browns instead of getting all steamy. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now. This appears to click on and off about every two minutes. I can hear the relay and the thermostat click, and then uh, it starts, it just clicked. And then it starts drawing power um, from the power station. And I think it looks pretty, like there's a pretty good crust around the exterior of it. So I imagine there probably is on the bottom too. And since I'm not actually baking this, it's not getting any heat from the top. So I'm not a cook by any means, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it because it's, a little soft on top. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out, scoop it out, flip it over, and then put this top side down back into the skillet and let it cook a little more that way. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and brown. Oh, that's hot. All right, how am I going to get it over there? Let me... Oh, it's a little doughy on top. I'm afraid of that. Ooh, all right. Got it in there. So now we got it flipped over. It's a little messy, but um, we're going to let the tops, what was the top size, now the bottom side, down in the skillet. We'll let that cook a little bit to cook through that portion of it. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. Uh, I did flip it over once, but you can see Nice crust to it, golden brown. We've used about 19%. We started at 91% uh, after our ramen, and we've used an extra 19% of the battery. So you can make, you know, five of these with the capacity built into the Fremo X700 power station. Still got plenty of power left to uh, use for other things around the house if you needed to. So let's go ahead and turn it off. We'll take it and we'll get it out of here hopefully. Ah, it's a little hot. All right, let's see how it turned out. Like I said, I'm no cook by any means, so. Um, ooh, steamy, hope you can see the steam. It's very hot. And I think this is done. Let me get a, just a little taste. Last thing I want to do is burn my mouth. Yep, that's cornbread. Take it, slather some butter on it. We're good to go. So, as you can see, this thing actually works quite well. Um, I didn't know. So, as you can see, the My Mini Noodle Maker and Skillet is another excellent approximately $10 cooking appliance 
that runs low wattage that if you couple with a portable power station or a small inverter generator, you have a great tool for camping or emergency situations. Now I'm gonna go in and eat that cornbread. So now that we made a few meals with this thing, I'm actually pretty impressed. All these, my mini uh, appliances are pretty good. They're right around where they claim to be for their wattage, generally a little bit under. Um, the food that came out of it was good. It cleaned up relatively easy compared to some uh, appliances that I've used. So I'll put a link to this below, along with links to uh, several generators, power stations that I like. And um, yeah, I like it. So hopefully you've gotten something out of this video. If you did and you liked the video, please like it. Uh, also, mash the bell button to be notified when I have a new video coming out. And most importantly, as always, if somebody you love and or know could benefit from this video, please share it with them. That's all for today. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.